Biogenic Reagents is all about being environmentally friendly. The company, based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, takes wood that's produced in the UP and converts it in a futuristic-like fashion. We heat up wood and we drive off compounds and we drive off water to a very pure form of carbon and then we take that carbon and we poke holes in it with gases so it becomes a very porous, almost like a sponge, and that's used to clean chemicals out of water and purify food. Biogenic Reagents was founded in 2011. A couple years into their business venture, the company wanted to expand its operation. That's when they contacted the Lake Superior Community Partnership. Building up and working with companies at the base is, is critical to the success of our area. What we help them do is make, make a lot of connections. So with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation um, was part of the, the key process us to getting their doors open in a timely fashion. The partnership in particular has helped us with every aspect of our business from the, the first days when we were looking to get you know, governmental approvals that we needed to helping securing additional funding from the state. Literally everything they do feels like they're trying to cheerlead and support our business. Biogenic Reagents opened up its first flagship production facility in 2013. The company put $50 million into the business in Gwynn that employs 41 people full time. Manel says that Biogenic Reagents is looking to further expand its operation at the former Air Force Base. We'd love to add additional positions up here. This has been a great you know, community to operate a facility you know, I think the partnership has done such a good job of doing what it is intending to do, which is helping businesses. Whether it's working with them on talent enhancement or their next expansion or capital infusion, you know, those are the things that we're here to do um, basically at, at Jim's beck and call um, because we want him to succeed and continue to grow here. For ABC 10 and CW5 News, I'm Jerry Taylor.